Want to start playing crypto unicorns, but you don't have a wallet yet? What even is a wallet? What's Psy? Don't worry, we'll walk you through the simple process of getting started. If you already have a wallet and just want to start playing the game, check the link in the description for a guide that gets you right into strategy. There are three ways to create an account on crypto unicorns. You can use your socials. Google, Facebook, and Apple options are available. The other is with your Web3 wallet. There are three steps to this. One, installing a wallet. Two, adding the network. Three, purchasing your CU NFTs and tokens. First off, you need a wallet where you can store your tokens and NFTs safely and access blockchain apps and websites. For this, we're using MetaMask. Go to metamask.io slash download. We're using it as a Chrome extension since Crypto Unicorns is a browser game. Click Install MetaMask for Chrome. Click on this button that says Add to Chrome. Then Add Extension. You can read the terms of use and if everything looks to be in order, tick this box and click Create New Wallet. MetaMask is asking you here if they can gather usage data to improve MetaMask, you can choose whichever you prefer. Next, it'll ask you to create your password. Input your password, tick the box, and then click on Create a New Wallet. Next, you will need to secure your wallet with your 12-word recovery phrase. This step is very important because it lets you recover your wallet and import it on other devices. Click Secure My Wallet and prepare to write down your recovery phrase. The numbers are labeled 1 to 12, so make sure to write it down in that order. Then click on Next. Confirm your secret recovery phrase. And there you have it, your MetaMask wallet. Make sure to pin this extension for easy access. This is your MetaMask wallet. In order to identify your wallet, you have this thing called wallet address. You can get it by clicking this code here that will automatically copy your address to your clipboard. This is this wallet's address. Let's learn about the other parts of a MetaMask wallet. This is the network or blockchain you're on. Right now, it's default set to Ethereum mainnet. We'll be changing that to the Psi network since that's the blockchain that Crypto Unicorns is on. We go over here to Network, Add Network, and then add Arbitrum 1. As you can see here, you're now on Arbitrum. Now let's learn how to purchase assets. First thing we need to do is to first buy Ethereum or ETH and USDT. This is what we'll be using to purchase our CU NFTs and tokens. Go back to your MetaMask wallet, click Buy and Sell. Choose the country you're in and the payment method. This would then lead you to a simple process of paying with your fiat wallet in exchange for ETH and USDT. Once you have your Ethereum and USDT, let's get your CU, the lifeblood of the game. You can purchase CU on exchanges like MXC, BitGet, Gate.io and Bitmart. How to see CU in your wallet? Open MetaMask, click Import Token. You'll see that it asks for a token address. You can find the token address on CoinMarketCap, but for ease of use, we've already put it in this video's description. And congratulations, you have your CU. Let's bring this CU over to Psy, a layer 3 of Arbitrum. Psy is cheaper and much faster. Let's first add Psy as a network. Click Add a Network, then Add a Network manually. Input this information. You can pause here. Go to the bridge.arbitrum.io and connect your wallet. Choose Arbitrum here and Psy here. Input the number of CU tokens you want to bridge over, then click Move Funds to Psy. It'll take a few minutes for your CU to be moved to the Psy network. And that's it. The last step is the fun part, buying your unicorns and lands. Head over to marketplace.cryptounicorns.fun and here you can browse your unicorns and land. We made a guide here to help you in choosing which unicorns and lands to pick. Click the unicorn or land you'd like to purchase. This will prompt a transaction. Confirm it. You should be able to see it under NFTs in your MetaMask wallet. If not, simply import the address like what we previously did with CU. We've also included the unicorn and land address in the description below. Congratulations, you're all geared up for crypto unicorns.